Welcome back to another player build, y'all. Today, I know I said we were only going to have one player and it was going to be Chara. But like I said, there was going to be a surprise with this one. We actually decided to do a would-be dynamic duo, even though they never actually play together. This will probably be one of, if not the most entertaining duos in NHL history. And that would be Nathan Gerby. That's a little surprise player for y'all. And of course, Zidane Chara. We have the tallest player and the smallest player. And real quick before we get into it, all I ask if you are enjoying the series, drop a quick sub with notice on so you don't miss your favorite players in the future. Let's get right into game one for y'all. Here we go, boys. Hopping into game one. And we have a little bit of a surprise for y'all. Because as y'all see, I'm on Nathan Gerby. My boy Cheeks, he's on the Chara build. So we have a duo coming. I know I said this week was going to be a single build, but I thought it'd be a super good idea. So here we are. We have two completely polar opposites in terms of their body. But in terms of their play style, I mean, Gerby can fucking snipe one as y'all see. Yup, there we go, Chara. Yes, sir. So for game one, we don't necessarily have a challenge. Game two, we don't really either. But for the first one, we're going to be doing a game of threes where we're just going to be kind of going for some big hits. Chara is going to be going for some reverse hits like he has a couple of already. These dudes are a little bit small, so reverse hitting may not be the best thing. Trying to score a couple goals as well and obviously get a W. But for the second game, we'll be switching over to sixes where I will be using the Chara build in that game. And we will be going for fights as many as possible. Gerby and Chara at least need to have one. That might be the challenge, I guess we'll say is the challenge technically. But for this one, like I said, we just going for some absolutely huge hits with these builds right now. Oh, I got hit. Come on, touch it. Pussy, yeah, what's up, bitch? Come on. Ew, Kirby with the hat. Absolutely incredible game one from the boys. We did make those dudes leave super quick, but there was a super good game so far. We had a lot of big hits. Char had a couple of reverse hits, so y'all will be seeing this, but we're going to hop into one more game of threes and then one final game of sixes where I promise y'all we're going to get in some fights for y'all. Here we go, boys. Hopping into game two with the Char and Gerby build. And Cheeks is already setting the tone with that fucking Char build. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, go, 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 go. Get him, get him. Damn. All good, all good. Come on, North. Let's go, baby. We get that shit right back. Let's get it. Let's go, boy. Go, Chara. Come on, Chara. Okay. Who is that guy? Okay. I respect it. Let's go. Good. Great play. Chara to Gerby. Let's go. Oh, damn. He dead as hell. Oh no. Oh no, we both do it for the same pair. Ew, Maddie. Oh, nice. My bad, boys. I just realized too. Melman Jr. has been out of frame that whole damn time. I'm so sorry. I did not realize he was faced the other way. But do not worry. He will be in the rest of the video. I promise. Oh, wow. Let's go, Maddie. Need a big save here for me, kid. Let me see something. Ew, let's go, Maddie. Getting in the second period. We have a tie game. And listen, Nathan Gerby, while he may not have been the best, most talented player, that man standing at 5'5", five, five, oh my goodness. Nice, North. Give it to Chara. There you go. Come on, Chara, finish. Ew! What an assist. I think he meant to score that, but we'll take that beautiful assist again by Chara. Go, boys. That's all y'all. All y'all. Come on, Chara. Ew. Good try, though, Chara. I respect that. Oh, Chara. Ew. Let's go. Chara's getting all the assists this game. Nice. Oh, yeah. We out north. Drop pass. Damn. I was really hoping he was going to drop pass that to me. Come on, pass it. Oh, yeah, you're going to... Oh, I missed him. No. 
No, that was my chance and I completely missed. I should have went for the fake hit. Hopping in the third period, boys. And boys, has it been a freaking good one so far? Mm, yeah, you know we set in the tone early in this third period. Nice block. Send me. Oh my gosh, what a pass. Ew, what a beautiful pass again from Chara. I don't know, this Chara and Gerby connection is looking a little bit scary. Imagine if they were on the same team together at one point. Listen, obviously it wouldn't have been as good because, you know, we're playing threes and everything and it's a lot easier to score and stuff, obviously. But at the end of the day, this line would have been some absolute freaking menaces with Chara and Gerby on it. Bang! Another one from Gerby. Ew. Chara, nice with it. Chara is nice with it. Let me find out. Yes, let's go. Chara finally got a goal. It took almost the whole game, but he finally got one. Absolutely incredible second game from the boys. Once again, as you see on the Gerby build, we had three goals, three assists, six points, and seven hits. We were absolutely smoking people at the end. And Cheeks on the Char build had one goal, six assists, some nasty assists, if I do say so myself, seven points, and 13 hits. So now we're going to get into game three where we're hopping into some sixes. I promise you all at least one fight from each build and i'm gonna be on the char one for sixes let's get right into it here we go boys hopping into game three with the nathan gerby and zidano char builds of course i'm really hoping that these dudes will not only fight me but also fight cheeks as well because like i said boys we definitely trying to get one fight at least on both of these builds come on please fight me not oh god Let's go. Beautiful pass, bud. Gorgeous finish from Gerby. Damn, that was a good ass shot. Holy, that's my bad. Bitch. Shouldn't have touched the puck. Oh! Thunderclap. Let's go. What a shot by Char. Beautiful rebound, Spud. Nice. Maybe not. Oh, definitely nice. Yes. Definitely nice. Good fucking play. Get in. Get in, let's go. Oh, Kirby finished that one. I didn't know if that was me, Kirby, but hey, Char got a beautiful assist on that once again from a beautiful clap bomb. Y'all see, every single time I'm dropping my gloves, but I'm not kidding, y'all. I don't exaggerate when I say every single time I go to make these videos and I need a fight with one of these players, nobody wants to fight, especially not a Char build, bro. Like, I'm 6'9", 250. You know, Char is an absolute unit. Here we go, boys. Hopping into period two. Very good period offensively, but we still haven't gotten a fight yet. And at the end of the day, that's what we're going for. So that's what we really need right now. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. I hit the wrong guy. That's my fault. That's my fault. Six, five, four. Yes, I'm back. No. Don't let anything bad happen. Let's go. Come on. Nice. Oh, yeah. Y'all out. Let's go, boys. Let's go. What a play, boys. Fight him. Yes. Let's go, Gerby. Come on. Come on, Gerby. Beat his big ass. Get him, Gerby. Get him, Gerby. Oh my gosh. Gerby with the fucking takedown on the big boy. Let's go, Gerby. I just need one of these guys to fight me now. And this game will be an absolute beauty of a game three for y'all to see. 
Boom, bitch. Oh, I was really hoping to get an injury and hoping that one of them would fight me. Boom, bitch. Don't fucking touch me. Fuck do you think you are? Boom. <laughs> we just having fun at this point. That's what these builds are for, fellas. These builds this week, like I said, they not these sniper fucking all around superstar builds. I wanted to have a little fun with this week's build. So that's exactly what we did. Ew, ew, what a dot from Chara. Oh my god. Somebody give Chara a fight, please. Shoot it. Yes, there it is. I knew it was fight. coming, baby. Haha, <laughs> you little boy. Oh my god, dude, this is an MMA fight, dude. I'm about to whoop that ass, boy. Come on. Boom, boom. Come on, one more good hit. Good night, bitch. Let's go, fellas. I don't see a purple person on the ice. Where the fuck is our... Go oh, there, there he... Okay. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on? All right, now Norris out of net. Now I see a purple player. I was so confused because I didn't see a purple player before. Come on, bitch. Let's go, come on. Come on, big boy, let's go. Come on, Round drop him. Yes, let's go, fight. baby. Come on, let's go. Here's our real test, boys. Yup. You know Char. You know Char's put to the test. You know Char's You know Char's passing the test, baby. Come on. Nighty night, baby. Oh, yeah. Get him. Get him. <laughs> nice hit, Gerby. Okay, North, go ahead. Go get yourself one kit. Oh, I thought he saved that. Absolutely incredible game three from the boys. Shout out to Cheeks for absolutely showing off this Gerby build like crazy in this game three. Three goals, two assists, nine hits. You see, we had zero goals, three assists on the Char build. Only one hit. I wasn't really going for hits too much, to be honest with y'all. But we did have two fight wins, zero losses. Cheeks had one fight win, zero losses. So like I said, huge shout out to him. He did incredible with the Char build in the first two games. And he did um, incredible with the Gerby build in game three. So definitely go drop him a follow on Twitch. If y'all are not following him already, his link will be down in my description below. But with that being said, let's hop right into the builds for y'all. We're going to do Gerby first, then Char right after for y'all. Now, to recreate a Nathan Gerby type build, obviously, we had to make an absolute goon enforcer type build, but we also had to make him super small because that's kind of what made Nathan Gerby such an entertaining and incredible player. So we couldn't go with an enforcer. We couldn't go with a power forward or anything like that. But what we could go with is a dangler because not only was he a goon and an absolute enforcer, but he actually had some pretty silky mitts and had some pretty agile skates when he needed to use them. So don't let his goon looks and goon play style deceive you because he was an absolute unit. Obviously, we have to make him five foot seven because that's the smallest we can go in ESHL. Unfortunately, he was five foot four in real life. If we could go that low, we would go that low, obviously, but we can't. For his actual weight, we can go with that because he was five foot four, 176 pounds, which is actually pretty heavy for somebody who's five foot four, but that's besides the point. He was, of course, a left handed shooter and abilities and boosts we will come back to as always. For your first attributes, your technique attributes, all you wanna do is add five to your agility, four to your speed, as like I said, Nathan Gerby may not have been the biggest guy, but he definitely was quick and he definitely was agile as well. Then you're just gonna to wanna to take five off wrist shot accuracy, five off balance, and four off your slap shot accuracy. I know that's not great, but I really was not trying to highlight the shot of this build with Nathan Gerby. I was really trying to highlight his speed and his agility more in that category. Next for your power attributes, you just wanna add five to your puck control, three to wrist shot power, 
two to slap shot power then take five off acceleration as you don't really have to worry about that because as y'all saw in the video this build is plenty fast then take four off your endurance after that for your play style attributes all you want to do is add five to body checking of course as that's kind of the reason why we're pairing him with zedano char to make these builds for y'all then you want to add three to offensive awareness three to your passing then take five off stick checking and five off your defensive awareness for your tenacity attributes all you want to do is add five to your strength and take five off your durability and four off your shot blocking for your last attributes your tactics attributes you of course are going to add five to his fighting skill because like i said this is the reason we're pairing him with zedano char he was an absolute goon an absolute menace so giving him anything less than maxed out hitting and fighting would just be absolutely disrespectful he was of course a center and we could have maybe given him 90 face offs even though he wasn't the best center but we physically can not because as you see if you even if you down everything else you cannot give him plus five face offs and plus five fighting so we had to give him 89 on his face offs then we did take five off our discipline and we only took four off of our deacon now going back to our abilities for gerby's zone ability you could give him something like puck on a string or ankle breaker if you want to show off his hands a little bit more however i decided to go with gold elite edges because i just wanted to show off his agility a little bit more and his absolute shiftiness with and without the puck so that's why i went with elite edges as his zone ability for our superstar abilities for our first one of course we did give nathan gerby truculence because like i said we can't absolutely max out his hitting and his fighting if there was any kind of superstar ability for fighting we'd give him that as well but there unfortunately isn't so for our second one we did decide to go with ankle breaker because like i said before his hands are severely underrated and overshadowed by his goon and his enforcer type play style but that does not discredit his hands, his agility, and his absolute shiftiness with the puck whatsoever. And finally, for Nathan Gerby's boost, of course, we decided to give him the two attributes that make an enforcer and a goon an absolute enforcer and a goon. The first one is, of course, booming hits to increase his body checking. The second one is, of course, durable fighter to increase his fighting. Because like I said, how can we make a Nathan Gerby build and not max out his hitting and his fighting for him? That's how we recreated Nathan Gerby right here in ESHL. Let's get right into the long-awaited, the one I know y'all waiting for, Zidane Chara build right now for y'all. Now, for Zedano Chara build, I think this may be the easiest archetype we've ever had to select, and that is, of course, an enforcer defenseman. I mean, there really isn't anything else that would fit Zedano Chara. He is six foot nine. 250 pounds according to the nhl official website so that's what we made him he is of course a left-handed shooter and abilities and boosts we will come back to as always first for your technique attributes for chara obvious disclaimer this build is not going to be very fast as it is a zidane chara build and when you make a build bigger the bigger the build the slower they are so obviously even if we absolutely max out his speed as much as humanly possible he's still just not going to be a fast build but we are of course going to increase the speed a little bit so at 40 your speed add one to both wrist shot and slap shot accuracy take five off agility as that's pretty self-explanatory then take three off your balance as i know we probably wouldn't want to tank his balance at all but we kind of had to in either way i thought 85 balance was still more than enough next for your power attributes we're going to be doing these attributes a little bit differently than normal so first you're going to want to add five to your slap shot power because zedano chara did shoot the hardest shot in nhl history i know it was in the skills competition but still multiple times not just once multiple times i don't know if he ever did the hardest one in an actual nhl game y'all can let me know who actually did in an nhl game down below because i'm not 100 percent sure but either way i still felt like i had to do that justice then you're going to want to add four to your acceleration which i know is also a little bit weird because we are going to need this for an ability but we're going to need 82 acceleration so if we give him plus five that's only going to give us 81 so that's kind of pointless so we're going to give him 80 so add four and then we're of course going to give him an acceleration boost when we get there then you're just going to want to take five off your endurance four off your puck control 
and two off your wrist shot power after that for your playstyle attributes all you want to do is add five to your body checking as like i said that's kind of why we're making this gerby and this char build because they are both some absolute goons then you want to add one to your defensive awareness take five off offensive awareness and take four off your stick checking for tenacity attributes this one's going to be a little bit differently than normal as well so we're going to add five to our strength two to our durability as char was an absolute freaking tank then take five off hand eye and four off your shot blocking and finally for our last attributes our tactics attributes all you're going to do is add five to fighting of course as obviously we need to max out the fighting for a char build to even make it semi respectable then two to discipline then take four off both your face offs and your deking now going back to char's abilities for his zone ability i know what the obvious choice is and that's truculence now wait before we do that the only reason we're not not going to give him truculence as a gold ability is because he was super super good at reverse hitting of course and back at you just is not a superstar ability yet i don't know if they're going to maybe add it next season it's club finals now so they may add it next season let's hope and pray that they do and maybe this char build could be looking a little bit different but this is the way we have to make him for now now for your superstar abilities before we give him truculence like i said we were going to need 82 acceleration for a certain ability and that is of course truculence so we do have to give him that plus two boost we're going to give him steady strides give him plus two acceleration that gives him 82 acceleration we're just going to throw in his other boost as well and basically we had the choice between giving him durable fighter or booming hits and i decided to go with durable fighter because he was an absolutely incredible fighter but there's another player that i have in mind who i want to give 99 hitting to so try and guess that player in the comments down below let me know who you think it is but that's why i didn't give him booming hits and i gave him durable fighter instead but then if you go back to your superstar abilities you will see that you can now equip truculence because we do meet the threshold for 82 acceleration for the second one we of course did give him thunderclap because like i said he had the hardest slap shot of all time in the skills competition not to mention he did have a pretty good amount of one t or just slap shot goals from the point in general so thunderclap is definitely a respectable ability and that is how we recreated both nathan gerby and zadena chara both the biggest skater and the smallest skater but both with very similar play styles in nhl history right here in ashl if you did enjoy the video and you are enjoying the series please feel free to drop a like comment any other players you want to see me recreate in ashl down below and sub what nobody's on so you don't miss your favorite players in the future i appreciate you boys watching i'll see you in the next one peace